Tesla's robo-taxis are about to begin their grand takeover of Waymo, Uber, and even the car ownership model. And this video just released by Tesla gives us a glimpse into the inner workings of the robo-taxi network. Oh, wait a minute. I oh, know that guy. That's um, Matt Watson of CarWow. He must be demoing Tesla's robo-taxi service. Wow, he gets all the cool invites. What's he doing, though? Just get in, man. You've driven Tesla's for years. You can work a handle. In fact, didn't you buy your mum one three years ago? I wonder if she's got in it yet. What, what's he doing? They'll get someone else in a minute. I'm free, by the way, Tesla. Fly me anywhere. I'm all yours. Oh, here's a thought. I wonder if he'd have to pay extra robo-taxi fees to cover the time he takes to get in one. Oh, look, they've got someone else now with the know-how to work such a complicated system. He must have been to that new six-hour Tesla handle training course that Tesla now offers its customers. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Matt. You're brilliant, but I couldn't help myself. Let's get into it. I'm Will. Welcome to Tesla Jigsaw. If you still can't see that Tesla is about to dominate the world over with autonomous robo-taxis, changing the way we travel forever, watch this with an open mind and see what happens. For this video covers the inevitable demise of Waymo and other autonomous solutions and even spells the end for Uber. It might be a shame, but it's gonna happen. Here's why. Tesla AI on X, FSD supervised ride hailing service is live for an early set of employees in Austin and San Francisco Bay Area. We've completed over 1.5 thousand trips and 15,000 miles of driving. This service helps us develop and validate FSD networks, the mobile app, vehicle allocation, mission control, and remote assistance operations. The service uses existing Tesla vehicles like the Model Y, equipped with rear screens for passenger interaction, but still requires a safety driver to intervene if needed, as FSD supervised isn't fully autonomous yet, unlike the upcoming unsupervised version Elon Musk teases with at the Wii Robot event. And what a stroke of luck! Tesla just happened to have fitted out all of their new cars with a screen in the back, very useful in an autonomous robo-taxi situation. Think pairing your phone or watching and listening to whatever, seamlessly controlling the temperature or adjusting the seats, especially if you're in the new fancy Model Y with its electric reclining back seats, that is. This pilot mirrors strategies of competitors like Waymo, which also tests with employees first, but Tesla's focus on cost-effective camera-based FSD tech, avoiding expensive LiDAR, does give it an edge in scaling robo-taxi services, potentially disrupting traditional ride-hailing models like Uber. Let's break this down simply. Tesla's robo-taxis have a shot at beating Waymo and Uber because they can be cheaper to run and offer a smoother, more reliable experience for riders. Here's how. The cost advantage. No expensive sensors. Waymo uses LiDAR, a fancy laser sensor that helps its cars see the world, but it's super expensive, sometimes adding tens of thousands of dollars to the cost of each car. Tesla skips LiDAR and relies on cameras, which are not only much cheaper, but we humans have been driving around with relative success with just our two eyeball cameras and basic meatbag brains for years now. We don't rely on LiDAR or laser beams shooting out of our eyes, do we? As for weather, LiDAR doesn't see through the fog. Humans don't see through the fog. And guess what? Cameras won't in some situations too. The weather is a challenge to overcome for both humans and vision-only AI-based self-driving cars. Whether that means slowing to a crawl or even pulling over safely, if that's the solution in some of those occasions, so be it. Tesla's more affordable to build vision-only approach means Tesla can build and maintain its robo-taxis for less money, cheaper to operate. Robo-taxis don't need human drivers, so both Tesla and Waymo save on paying wages. But Tesla's cars are already electric and their design, plus their in-house tech like the Tesla Dojo Supercomputer for Training AI, keeps operating costs low. For example, electric cars have fewer moving parts than internal combustion engine cars, so they're cheaper to maintain. Robo-taxis could cost as little as 50 cents per mile to run compared to $2 per mile for a human-driven Uber. Tesla's cost might even be lower because of its tech efficiency, most certainly the case when the cybercabs are let loose due to their lightweight ultimate efficiency. Mass production. Tesla makes a ton of cars already, almost 1.8 million delivered in 2024, and a total of about 11.7 million in the world and counting. They can use their existing fleet, the full sexy lineup for robo-taxis, which cuts down on the need to build new specialised vehicles. Waymo, on the other hand, has to outfit specific cars with its tech, which is pricier and slower to scale. It costs Tesla approximately 20% of what it costs to build a Waymo. A person with knowledge of the matter recently said, Waymo costs way more money. <laughs> this is the scalable, affordable manufacturing advantage that no one other than Tesla has. No middleman. 
Uber takes a cut of every ride. Drivers only keep about 60% of the fare, apparently. If Tesla owns some of its robo-taxi fleet, it keeps all the money from each ride. This lets Tesla charge riders less while making a profit. And let's not forget the Tesla owners who can add their cars to the robo-taxi network and make them money while they sleep. This has long been the plan and understood by Tesla owners. And finally, the plan is coming together. Better service, smoother experience. Tesla's full self-driving tech, even in its supervised form, is getting really good. Tesla has already done 1,500 trips and 15,000 miles with employees, helping them iron out kinks. Riders can book a trip straight from their Tesla app, making it easy and seamless. No need to talk to the driver or deal with awkward interactions, although that's all we need, isn't it? More terrified, awkward young folk incapable of interacting with other humans. I digress so easily, have you noticed? Although while I'm here, do us a favour and like, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of new videos from me. Thanks very much. More reliable and safer. Self-driving cars react way faster than humans, 150 times faster, according to Grok. Tesla's AI is trained on billions of miles of real-world data from its customers. This makes Tesla's robo-taxis less likely to mess up compared to human drivers on Uber. Waymo is safe too, 88% fewer property damage claims than human drivers, but Tesla's massive data advantage might help it catch up or even surpass Waymo over time. Always available. Robotaxis don't need brakes, sleep or holiday. They can run 24-7, which means Tesla can offer rides whenever you need them, unlike Uber, where you might wait longer if drivers aren't around. Autonomous vehicles can operate continuously, making them more efficient than any human driver. Consistency. With Uber, you might get a driver who's having a bad day, drives recklessly or has a messy car. Tesla's robotaxis won't have these issues. They'll always be clean. As we've seen from Tesla's solution to autonomously cleaning the cybercabs, they'll be quiet and drive the same way every time. Robotaxis mean you don't have to fear their driving skills or suffer their eating, smoking or flatulent problems. Lovely. How this beats Waymo and Uber. While Waymo's tech is advanced, thanks to its LiDAR, it's expensive to build at scale. Tesla can roll out robotaxis faster and cheaper because it's already making cars at a massive scale and it doesn't need costly sensors. Waymo's service is also limited to specific areas like a 65 square mile area in Atlanta, for example. Whereas Tesla's FSD is designed to work anywhere its cars can drive, thanks to its camera-based systems and lack of reliance on highly detailed maps. See China, for example, where only recently Tesla released their FSD supervised. Yet here it's tackling a single lane mountain road with ease. And Tesla's lower costs could let it charge less for rides, stealing customers from Waymo. Now let's look at Uber. Uber relies on human drivers, which is expensive, wages, benefits, etc. And inconsistent. Tesla's robo-taxi can offer rides at a fraction of the cost, potentially at least 50% cheaper than Uber's $2 per mile. Plus, Tesla's service will be more predictable and available, making it a better choice for riders. Uber must know at this point that they're screwed because Tesla's robo-taxi will take over the market with lower prices, a better service and better reliability. So in simple terms, Tesla's robo-taxis are like a cheaper, more dependable taxi service. They cost less to build and run because Tesla uses cameras instead of expensive sensors and already has a ton of cars ready to go. They're also better for riders. No waiting for drivers, no bad experiences, and they'll always be ready to roll. This could make Tesla's robo-taxis a go-to choice over Waymo. Too pricey to scale fast and Uber too expensive and inconsistent with human drivers. This is the grand opportunity that Tesla have been working towards for so long now, and 2025 most certainly will be the year it becomes reality. When do you think you'll experience a Tesla robo-taxi for the first time? If you want to hear more about Tesla's business and its race towards a sustainable, abundant future, here's my summary of Tesla's recent Q1 earnings call. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.